beginning to understand history because I'm a student of international relations. Britain suddenly and mysteriously becomes the ruling state in the world. Yes. The Russians had contempt for the British. The French had more than contempt for the British. Napoleon referred to them as a nation of shopkeepers. Hmm? But this Britain, a little island off the coast of Europe, which never walked on the stage of history, this Britain suddenly and mysteriously and mystifyingly and bafflingly, this Britain becomes the ruling state in the world. It could not have happened by accident. What is the explanation? This is my explanation. This is the jail at work. If you have another explanation, I want to hear it. The scientific and technological revolution emerges from Britain. We don't have the time to go through it. But if you are young, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 tonight, son and daughter, I, I have this homework to give to you. Go and study the scientific and technological revolution. Study it back to front and seek to understand what is happening and link the scientific and technological revolution to the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ pertaining to Dajjal. Dajjal will step into the ocean and the water would reach him up to his knee. Huh? If they want to wait for a very tall man who one day will step into the ocean and when he steps into the Atlantic Ocean the water will reach him up to his knee. Well, we should allow them to wait for that to happen. Okay? But when TW800 crashed into the ocean off the coast of Long Island, when Egypt A900 crashed off the coast of Boston, huh? notice that these aircraft took off from New York. Did you notice that? Why did it happen from an aircraft that took off from New York? Because New York is the center of news of the world today. All the major news agencies have their headquarters in New York. That's why the aircraft had to take off from New York. So that this event will get maximum publicity. Which is why the aircraft had to hit the two World Trade Center towers in New York. If you had hit the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, you ain't going to get all that publicity. Huh? If you hit some buildings in Sydney <coughs> Harbor, you're not going to get that publicity. So you've got to hit a target in New York to get the maximum publicity. Hmm? When these aircraft fell into the ocean, did you notice what happened? A display, a display, a dazzling display of modern technology. That the Americans were able to go down to the bottom of the ocean and pick up the pieces of this aircraft and then reassemble the aircraft so that they had 90-something percent of the aircraft recovered and reassembled. If that was not stepping into the ocean with the water reaching you to your knee, well, what is it? Hmm? So I want you to go and study the scientific and technological revolution, which emerges from Britain. Study it like the back of your hand and seek to relate it to the ahadith and Dajjal. Britain becomes the ruling state in the world. And Britain becomes the ruling state not only on the basis of military power, the scientific and technological revolution being applied to military science, military power, military technology. Britain becomes the ruling state in the world also because Britain has control over money of the world, the Bank of, the bank of England. Hmm? And Britain rules the world for a day which is like a year. It is during the time that you had the Balfour Declaration that it is the intention of the British government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. Yes. 
1917. We explained to you in the lecture of Imam al-Mahdi and the return of the Khilafah, the deal with the Jews. Then came 1919, and what happened? The British army defeats the Turkish army, liberates the Holy Land. Britain now assumes control over the Holy Land on a mandate conferred by the League of Nations. Between 1919 and 1948, we have Britain ruling over the Holy Land and opening the doors for the Jews to return. Prior to this, the Ottoman Islamic State never allowed the Jews to return. They can come back as tourists. But apart from the small Jewish community which is allowed to live in Jerusalem, the Jews cannot come back to reclaim the Holy Land. In 1948, it is Britain which presides over the birth of the State of Israel. Power being transferred in the night mysteriously without any legal instrument of transfer and the State of Israel is born. This is the first time in European history that there is a transfer of power from a colonizer to a new state after decolonization without a legal transfer of power. First time the State of Israel is born this way. And so my answer is the state of the state the island of Britain is the is the island of Tamimudari. This is my answer. Remember, you don't have to agree with me. If you differ with me, however, you should correct me and tell me which is the correct island. When you do so, you must provide the evidence which supports you. And then came the transfer of power from Britain to the United States. In order for that transfer of power to take place from Britain to the United States, we not only had to demonstrate the superior military power of the United States, which took place in the First World War, while well, Britain was losing the war, but secondly, that the United States now has control over money. And so the Bank of England goes into the background, and the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank now assume the position of controlling the world of money. When the United States became the ruling state in the world, again, that was strange, because who are these? These are a bunch of people who migrated from a number of European countries to form a new country out there across the ocean, very far away. And that United States of America should now become the ruling state in the world Replacing Britain is something also extremely strange, difficult to explain, except with the Ahadith on Dajjal. Now, while the United States of America is the ruling state in the world, we notice this strange and mysterious relationship with Israel. Huh? That the United States is defying all kind of rationality to feed Israel, to support Israel, to cause Israel to become stronger, to transfer military technology to Israel, some through the back door, some through the front door. Hmm? And so Israel grows while the United States is the ruling state in the world. Until Israel becomes a nuclear power and a thermonuclear power. Saddam Hussein in Iraq is not allowed to have any weapons of mass destruction. No. And the Australian government, following faithfully behind Uncle Sam, points out it's wrong. It is morally wrong to have weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. But the Australian government, of course, doesn't know. Somebody should tell the Australian government about all the weapons of mass destruction that the state of Israel has that the Australian government wouldn't talk about. I hope they're not offended by facts. And if we're not allowed to speak facts, what is there other than this to talk about? The United States of America now feeds and builds the baby until Israel becomes a powerful state, on par with other nuclear power states. And now the time has come for the United States to deliver to Israel the status of being the ruling state in the world. And it is here we want to pause now for some microanalysis. This is where we are located now in history. This is where we should be focusing our attention. 
not slandering each other and fighting over chicken feed, but focusing your attention on the moment in history in which we are located. This is the moment of great drama and blessed are those who have a light with which to see to understand what is happening in the world. When Israel becomes the ruling state in the world, the most surprised man in the universe would be a man named Yasser Arafat. Yeah. He would be the most surprised of all in the whole universe. But you in Lakemba would not be surprised. No. So maybe somebody could send him a copy of this book. Huh? <laughs> in order for Israel to replace the United States as the ruling state in the world, first of all, a day which is like a month has to come to an end. I have not calculated how long is a day which is like a month, but maybe you have the time to do that and one of you may take up this research. I am offering a guess that we are now close to the end of a day which is like a month. If Israel is to replace the United States as the new ruling state in the world and to rule the world for a day which is like a week, then something has to happen to diminish American power. American military power does not appear to have anything in the world which can challenge it. And so I'm not looking at American military power, but I'm looking at the American economy. That if you can attack the American economy and cause it to collapse, then that will impact upon America's capacity to fight war. Mm -hmm. And in the American economy, by far the most vulnerable part of the economy is the dollar. When we speak on, on the subject of Islam and the international monetary system, inshallah, on Wednesday night. And remember, that is the most important lecture of all that I'll be delivering this time. So please ask your friends and your teachers and so on to come to that lecture. When the American dollar is attacked and the American dollar collapses, and you will see on Wednesday night how easy it is for, for it to happen, then the whole world of paper money is going to collapse with it. The whole world of paper money will collapse with it. And when paper money collapses, then money is going to be electronic impulses in machines, in banks. Prepare yourself for this now. You can't see money anymore. No. You can't see money anymore. You can't touch money anymore. Money will now become invisible. Money will now become intangible. Money is now electronic impulses in mindless machines in banks. And that would be the most fabulous victory of all for the Jew in his entire inglorious history. That one. And that is around the corner. But in order for Israel to become the ruling state in the world, Israel also has to wage a big war which will establish its credentials as the supreme military power in the world. It has to be a war with dazzling display of military technology, surpassing Uncle Sam. So Israel has to have something secret that even the Americans don't know about. Hmm? When that war takes place, obviously, Dajjal has to expand the territory of the state incrementally Incrementally means piece by piece until eventually he's able to establish rule over the territory from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. If you want to take over 